Okay, next question, and this one isn't for everybody, but can you talk to us a little bit about pool and hot tub safety? Ooh, I'm gonna counter you on that. This is for everyone, because I guarantee you everybody here is gonna go stay at a rental that has a pool in it, even if they don't have one at some point in time. You know, pool drownings are still the number one cause of death for kids under the age, accidental death for kids under the age of five in the US. Right now it's pool season in Australia and our customers down there are talking to me. They're having a lot of things in Australia right now because it's their summer. It last summer was the worst we'd ever seen. Um, and here's something you want to think about. If you ever get a chance, look at Levi's story. If you go to Levi, Google Levi's story, it's about a short terminal uh, down in Florida. A couple of years ago, they showed up their seven year old boy drowned in the pool. The reason he drowned is everyone was there watching. There was like 20 people there. They were all watching the pool. Adults were drinking, but nobody was actually in charge of watching the pool. And there were pool toys in the pool and Levi drowned underneath one of the pool toys and nobody saw it. And so Levi's story is all about now making sure at your short term rental, if you do have one, or if you're going to stay at a short term rental that has a pool, that there's a pass that somebody has. It's the, the tag that they have. It's kind of like being tagged out that your only responsibility as an adult right now is to watch the pool. And if you're going to go to the bathroom or go make another cocktail, then you need to pass that on to somebody else who's now going to watch the pool and make sure that it's safe. And with that comes into making sure there's no pool toys in the to in the pool. If you want to supply those at, at your pool, then you're taking on a lot of heavy risks. A lot of insurance companies don't allow it. Same thing happens with hot tubs. We just had a hot tub drowning death um, where two people at a vacation rental in Aspen, Colorado, were found after quite a while. I think they think they'd been there about a week. So I don't even want to know what that looked like. Um, initially, they thought it was from drug use. Now they're realizing it was an electrocution, that the two people were electrocuted. So you got to make sure you're doing inspections of your electricity in your hot tub, making sure everything's in good shape, chemicals aren't easily accessible, and most importantly, that someone can't take the cover off or that there's good pool safety gates. I'm a big skier, one of my fans, uh, or I'm a big fan of uh, Bode Miller. A lot of people know about Bode Miller and his son drowned, or excuse me, his daughter. She drowned in a short-term rental pool, not at the house they were renting, but at the neighbor's house because the neighbor didn't have a good gate and went next door and drowned in that pool. So pool safety gates are really important and keeping the kids out of the pool is very important. Okay, great. And um, signage also is a big part of it. So I learned that and then making sure where the hot tubs are located, that the railings are high enough. And then how often should vacation rental owners with pools and hot tubs be getting them inspected and getting the electrical inspected. Cause I believe you touched on this in your course. So yeah, electrical inspections should occur every two years, but you want to be checking your gates all the time. They wear down. I visited a property management company in the outer banks of North Carolina last year, and they were rigorously checking their gates after every single rental adjusting them, making sure that they latch properly. And I said, wow, you guys are pretty intense about this. And they said, yeah, we had a pool drowning last year. So now that's like their prime focus in attending to that. And that should be, again, I say this a lot of wake up call, that if it's happening in a at professionally managed homes, it can happen anywhere. And you just gotta pay, pay attention to all of those facets of the rental property and thinking about how kids can get out there. And there's a lot of great products out there now that help people. There's a great new product that came out. It's like $2,000, but if you go in a pool and you're running out, running that out, it's a drop in the bucket. And it actually can monitor movement in the pool and see if somebody has stopped swimming for a little while. It's solar powered, you don't have to do anything and it, it will alert people to uh, a potential drowning in a pool. So take advantage of the great safety devices that are out there to keep your guests safe. Yeah, thank you. And thank you for sharing those examples because Unless you've really gone through one of those situations where, you know, there's been, you know, an accident and, and a loss of life. Sometimes you just don't think of those. And so I know it's hard to share those experiences and stories, but I think it's actually really good for everybody to hear it, to impress upon them the importance of putting some of these measures in place, especially when it comes to pool and spa safety. 